Hi, and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to add text overlays onto your news projects. So I've got my introduction now, and I've got my presenters on the screen with a nice background. I've replaced the green screen. Um, what I want to do is have a little box that comes up on the screen and just says their names. So to do that, we're going to need to add um, a background color so that we can write the text over it, and then we're going to write the text itself. So let's get started. We need to create a new video track to put this stuff on. Let's go insert and video track. And I'm going to name that a uh, text. Okay, so we're going to put the text in that box. And in the overlay track, we're going to put this background shape. So I'm going to go insert uh, CG clip. I'm going to choose a quick shape. And it sticks a circle right in the middle of my screen. Well, we're going to change the quick shape type here to uh, a rectangle. And we're going to stretch it to the project size. Now I've got a huge white rectangle that's taken over the whole thing. But if I go to transform here, I can now drag the top down. And it's a much more reasonable size banner across the bottom. Maybe I want to make it just a bit bigger. Now I'd like to change the background color of this, so I'm going to go back to General. And where it says Fill, I'm going to click on that. And I can choose from the built-in colors, and there's quite a good range. Or I can choose any color I like from Edit. Also, I could choose to have a kind of a gradient effect if I wanted, like um, some sort of faded uh, color scheme like that. I'm just going to go with Solid, and I'm going to choose a Ship Lake Red. Press OK, and now I've got my, my basic shape, which I can put my text over. So the next thing I need to do is add that text. So I'm going to click on my text um, track so that that is highlighted, and I'm going to go Insert Text, and I'm going to choose a text clip. And it presents my title right in the middle of the page, so I'm just going to drag that down to where I want it. I'm going to change the font to something a little bit better, maybe reduce the size slightly, and I can click in there and change what it says. And I'm going to drag that over. And so now, if I play, it should just show, let's make that a bit more central, it should just show that text on the screen as well. Welcome to Shiplet News. I am Lucas and I'm... Okay, so that's working. It would look nicer if there was a bit of a fade in for this. So let's improve that. Let's move the text over slightly. And let's grab this drag handle for the quick shape. So that the quick shape fades in. And let's also fade in our text a little bit. And let's see how this looks. Hello and welcome to Shiplet News. I am Lucas and I'm Josh. That looks much better. And I'm going to cut it out. Uh, by this point, so I'm just going to drag back, and again we could just do a little, a little um, hand pull for the fading, so they fade out together. So watch that and see how it looks. Hello and welcome to Shiplet News. I am Lucas and I'm Josh. Here are some head. Fantastic. Now the other thing you might want to do is some kind of um, breaking news ticker or some sort of text that goes along the bottom as well. So let's look at how we can do that. Again, we're going to need that background shape. So I'm going to go to overlay again. And I'm going to insert CG clip and a quick shape. And I'm going to choose another rectangle. And I'm going to stretch it to the project size. And I'm going to transform it again so that it's the right size. And I'm going to set under general the fill color to be maybe blue this time. So a nice blue banner. And we want some text to say breaking news, I don't know, whatever the news might be. So we're going to click on the text track again so it's highlighted. Insert a text clip, or I could have done that from this down here. And let's see, breaking news, uh, um, hamster on the run. Uh, let's try that, um, updates coming. Okay, so it's obviously in the wrong place and it's obviously far too big. So you know what to do. We can drag it, we can resize it, and we can change the font style. 
So let's try um, Arial, Bold and Italics or something. Something a bit like some trashy news. Okay, that looks okay. Now that needs to, the only thing we need to do is change the scrolling behavior on this. So we're going to go back to general on our text object and change scrolling. And we want it to scroll to the left. So we're going to choose left. And let's see how it looks. Head headline for shipmate today. Headmaster bans all phones during the daytime. Excellent. And if you wanted to do that again, you could just repeat it. So you could just select them, uh, select sorry your text, and you can do copy and um, click on a paste, and we can drag our background shape. So let's see how that looks. Head head headline for shipwreck today. Headmaster bans all phones during the daytime. Rose and Press Whitecliff head. And more information about. Okay, but obviously we could have changed the text in that second one to be something other than hamster on the run. Uh, we could have changed that to be whatever the other story might be. So that's another way that you can use a text overlay. Other places it's great to have these overlays is if you're doing an interview with someone, you might want to have it come up and say their name, who it is and why you're interviewing them. So it might be what have they done um, or what is their position in school. So you might want to put something like that in there. Um, or if someone's talking about maybe you're reporting on something and there's some key statistics or some numbers that you need people to remember, then again you could use um, a text overlay to present that information on the screen.